Okay, today we are going to unbox my personal grail. If you guess it, it's the XM Hulkbuster. You do know uh, I'm a sucker for Iron Man. So this is obviously my personal grail. I already have the MCU uh, version from Queen Studios, but I still think this is a must-have. Anyway, uh, later in this month, hopefully, or maybe the next, I will also be getting a custom Hulkbuster. You should subscribe so you don't miss on that unboxing as well. And if you want, I could do a comparison video with this one and the custom one. Just let me know in the comments below. Okay, so let's start the unboxing. The box is actually pretty uh, beaten up. This is quite an old statue, I think. I forgot which year uh, this came out. I bought it from a very known collector from China. If you know his name, it's Li Yunchao. He has a lot of grails. If you see his posts, he probably has all the uh, grail statues. Anyway, I got this from him. It's from one of his friends. Uh, he was selling like four Hulkbusters actually. And he gave me a pretty good discount because I got a shipper from China. Okay. So far so good. I wonder if we could take this off. I'm guessing not. Brad, kailangan dyan yung tabang Brad. Okay, murag nagpilit ng gudni siya. Kano ang kalisod? Hindi lang, hindi lang. Wala na ko yung magunitan. The vacuum on this box is pretty bad. Kaya makaminit na ko taro. Kailangan na nung isa ko, pero medyo taas na ako. Nandi yung buslot siya, no? Nandi rin yung... Eh, ana-ana daw, Brad. Mas paspas tama. Tanggal. A few moments later. Ah, sa kita sa kulit ko dyan. Tet na. Ready? Okay, box one removed. The suction or vacuum on the box is pretty bad. It's extremely hard to get out. Anyway, we have the usual. White styro from XM and the Velcro straps as well from XM. So it's a good thing it's not a recast. I actually saw a recast of this in Manila last week. The sculpt I would say is pretty good, but the paint isn't the same. How would you call this? I know the XM Hulkbuster, the original one anyway, the paint is like an auto finish, so it's quite glossy, it's very shiny. The recast one I saw, it's like metallic red, similar to Queen Studios. It's not really glossy, but I would say the sculpt is definitely based from the real thing, so yeah. Anyway, how many layers are this? The base, I would say, is not here, I think. Oh, can't remove it. It's extremely heavy. I wonder where the first box is. I mean, the f base. I think we need to check if the base is on the first box. But I don't think that it is. Anyway, let's just try and remove some parts. The bigger ones, at least. Okay, so we will get the star sword. It is extremely heavy. Okay, so the recast paint is definitely not like this. This is just too shiny for the recast. Anyway, we have the legs for Hulkbuster. I'm gonna need to put it here first. It's quite big, it's extremely heavy. I wonder if the recast is that heavy. Anyway, moving on to his arms. Or maybe we could check this the torso first. Okay. The torso as well is extremely heavy. It has a lot of damages on the ring. Probably the original owner was having problems uh, assembling it. Also the peg here has a lot of damages. Hopefully uh, they won't be visible once uh, assembled. Let's see if we could pull the styro out. Okay, the base is definitely not here. However, Iron Man is here. Should try and unbox the second box. Let's get the base first before everything else. Should be hopefully easier. 
They added a lot of tape. Packaging tape. So I bet the base will be just as heavy since it needs to hold the weight of the Hulkbuster. Okay, so I don't think I could be able to get this out. It's quite tight. Tabang na lang, Brad. Prapaspas. Sige na i-style lang yun ang paspas siya ba? I don't know if you could hear the vacuum sound. Okay, I think this is the first box. Uh, we should have unboxed this first. So we have the original uh, assembly manual. XM does not do this anymore, but they do it online anyway. I think this one makes the experience like you're unboxing something luxurious. And I, we have the art print. Sorry, I'm a bit uh, out of breath. The box, the statue is extremely heavy. Hopefully it's just the base, nothing else. I know the base is quite wide. Yeah, it is extremely wide. Let's set up some space. I'm not even sure we're gonna have enough space for all the pieces. The base is extremely wide. It's as wide as the box. And hopefully I could lift this up. Yeah, it's actually not that bad. I want to check the sticker. Anyway, you guys just tell me what's the ES. Can't see it. Anyway, let's put it here. So yeah, uh, let's just finish this box first before moving on. Next is we have a random part, which I guess would go to the Hulkbuster. I believe this is one of its shoulder pads. Really, really nice paint job, gotta say. As for damages, besides the built-in battle damages, of course, uh, it seems to be okay. It's good. Okay, we have a very small part. Oh, it's a iron rod steel thing. I guess that will go to the base. I really hate stuff like those. We have another random iron thing for Hulkbuster. We have the second shoulder pads. Okay, there's a chip here, but it's not gonna be visible anyway. So I'm not worried about it. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna add more paint chips uh, when I assemble it anyway. Okay, we have one of its armors. Not sure where this go. But should be easy to find later. And we have the manual, so we don't have to check online uh, where stuff goes. Anyways, last armor part, similar as the other one. And we have completely uh, gotten all the pieces from the first box. So let's... Let's go back to the first layer from the second box. Okay, we have a booster type of thing. Oh, this is, I'll pull it here. Might roll out of the table. We got the second one of those uh, booster thing. Hmm. Okay, a random metal plate, color red. And another random plate, which is quite similar, I think. Okay, last two items and we have both uh, his arms. Okay, it is uh, quite heavy. There's a place here for light up features and the battery. Oh, it's quite hard. Anyway, I think this will go here to cover it, I would guess. No, no, it's not. Anyway, figure out that later. So that was the right arm. And obviously this guy is the left one so far there are no breaks <laughs> and if i forgot to mention this is a second hand statue so it's not brand new okay second arm all good few battle damages oh this one is definitely not battle damage it's a cheap paint the paint was cheap but anyway it's not that visible i think it's at the back and hopefully uh, it will just blend in with the other weathering and battle damages. 
all throughout the statue. Okay, final uh, item. Let's get the base first. Oh, the Iron Man has his own base, so you don't have to display him inside the Hulkbuster. Though I think I do want to do that, but I think I'll go with displaying him here. So uh, there, there will be no items left in the box. Anyway, finally, I get to see the ES. It's 999 and I think this is 559. Yeah. So this is Iron Man's base. Okay, might as well get Iron Man next. So here is Iron Man. Very nice paint job, gotta say. Not the best armor or scope, but definitely the best paint job. Let's just put him already at the base. So we have Iron Man's right arm, full arm, no cuts. We have the left one here. All fingers uh, doesn't have any problem, no breaks, everything good. Just a few more stuff and we are done. So we have a random plate for Hulkbuster. I'm just putting the stuff randomly behind me. Kinda looks like an arc reactor, what do you think? Maybe it goes to Hulkbuster. We have another plate thing similar to that other one. Okay, moving on. So this is the one that will hide the uh, button for the light ups and the battery and stuff. It's quite big. Let's just put it here. We're gonna need it last anyway. Okay, so we have the second one of those plate thing. Sorry, I'm just putting them randomly. Okay, we have the head finally. And we only have the last one item here. I gotta say this statue aged pretty well. The value uh, still time store even more. It definitely retain its value. And a lot of collectors still want to have this or own this statue actually. So yeah, this is the damage version of the portrait. I'm not really sure what are the parts, but we'll check that out. Last item is another portrait, I would say. So I guess there are gonna be stuff that will be left inside the box. Yeah, okay, so this is the another portrait and it has a lot of features here. Not sure if there are battery. Oh, it's still light up. So there is battery here still. The yellow one doesn't light up. Gotta remove the battery and might leak and might destroy it. Anyway, we've gotten uh, all the pieces from the box and we're gonna start assembly. So we're gonna assemble him, obviously. Uh, just notice that he's hands is as big or almost as big as my hand anyway i'm gonna put some of the stuff below as you can see the parts are scattered all around the area there's just a lot of pieces and most of them are quite big iron man need to put on the floor uh let's just put him back later when it's time for him to be assembled as for this base it's uh, facing the opposite way. It needs to face you guys. Obviously, not me. Uh, the thing here. Okay. Hopefully, uh, we're not gonna break anything or add damages uh, to the statue since it already has some of them. Anyways, I needed help. Didn't want to break it. Forgot that Hope is kneeling. Oh, okay. Thank you, June. So yeah, where's the manual? Just in case. Rico, manual. I didn't want to do another problem like the Queen Studios one. So might as well just check the manual. Okay, it says I need to install some stuff to him. Okay, so we need to install a few stuff. The plates on his legs. I think these are the ones. Oh no, it's not. Oh, here. So this yellow stuff uh, will go to his legs and will... Oh, wow. wow. That's quite powerful magnets. Let's be careful. Okay. The next one is the iron thing, but let's do that later. And it says there's something to be put uh, on the left side of his 
armpits, which I don't know what it is. Next is we will put the, where is it? You know what? It's quite messy. I don't know where I have put stuff. Where is it? This is like this on the Oh, here. Never mind. Di mo ganyan siya sakto, brad. I got that wrong. That's why it wouldn't fit. Anyway. So, I, I had it upside down. Hmm, the spine doesn't align at the back. But I think that's what it's supposed to be. It doesn't have any pegs, but it's uh, sitting there properly. So, I guess there's no problem there. I think we need to put the right arm next. Because his right arm needs to sit here. So this is the support. Okay, so we did encounter a very big problem. The right arm won't fit the peg on the torso. No matter what you do, even if it's uh, not assembled like this, it just won't fit there's a lot of stuff uh, blocking it and if you do or if i do try and push it uh, the right arm won't be touching the base so it's floating and it will detach itself uh, eventually so what we did is there is a styro here maybe we'll just cut this uh, to size of his fist later on and somehow he seems to be okay with this setup anyway moving on that's the first problem we had and because of what we did we added a lot more of paint chips inside the torso so I guess uh, that's where the original problem came I'm not sure if I could uh, send this to a painter and have him fix it it's gonna be a big problem because the statue is quite massive I, I don't really feel like sending it but hopefully what we have right now is okay and the second problem now is the shoulder pad won't go all the way in, but it's stable enough. Next! <sighs> Would be the left arm. So assembly has been a little bit a breeze, easy after that big problem. Shoulder pad seems, feels loose. Anyway, let's check the manual on where we are. At. Okay, we need to install both of this. The forearm armor stuff. Okay, this one will go here. And this one goes here. Okay. Arm seems to be stable. Shoulder pads installed. Next is this engine thing with the peg. Well, both of them has pegs and they eventually will go here, the back of Hulkbuster. Yeah, anyway, hope you can see it. Next are these two metal plate thing that will... Oh, okay. They go here, actually. No, oh, maybe I have it wrong. I think it's right. The key doesn't go all the way in, so that's why... I'm not sure if I have them right. Let's try and interchange them a sec. Yeah, definitely that's the right one. Okay, I think we're almost done. Um, last thing is to put... Uh, okay, so one of the cameras has his battery empty. Anyway, we're gonna continue and install the portrait. I need to move. I think I need to remove this first before we install this guy. Yeah, I don't quite understand this. It feels that it's installed, but it's actually quite loose. Hmm. Yeah, I think it's okay. This is a very scary statue to assemble. 
I find it uh, harder to assemble this than the Queen Studios one, actually. I think I installed the thing at the back wrong. I think I installed it right. Just won't go all the way. It's like the pieces doesn't go together properly. That's what I feel like. Uh, the the a lot of the stuff doesn't really go all the way in properly. It's like it's not for the statue. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right. The gaps here. The seam is extremely big. Uh, I'm not even sure if I installed this right. Anyway, let's try and move on. I guess. I'm not gonna install Hulkbuster. I mean Iron Man on Hulkbuster. It's for setup number two. This is setup number one. I'm a bit scared to even consider that. Anyway, let's put back Iron Man. Let's do his arms. Okay. I'm supposed to be like this. And then like that. I still have a few stuff left that I haven't figured out where to install. Let's check the manual one last. Oh, okay, so this is for setup number two. As well as for this light up right here and the two pieces right here. Yeah, so we have completely assembled the XM Hulkbuster and it's definitely not easy. Let's just find this last piece. It's supposed to go on the left side. Oh, here. Anyway, there you go. We have completely assembled the XM Hulkbuster. It did come with a lot of problems. And I hope you stay tuned at the end and let's do a proper review on the statue. Obviously, this statue came with a lot of problems, so let me tell you what they are and my thoughts before you buy this grail. Like many, I know this statue is probably your personal grail. All I can say, the experience on assembling this beast is like a custom statue. I can only name a few key component uh, parts that installing them was a breeze. His legs, even though quite heavy, was very easy to install. His left arm too, even though a bit heavy, was easy to install as well. And and fits quite perfectly and besides those two and the small parts uh, everything seems to be problematic let me tell you what they are his right arm has a peg which goes to his body it is highly possible that this is only with my unit or maybe a few others but hey it's xm right they usually have engineering problems with early units and tries to address them on succeeding batches but come on xm you couldn't tell the right arm isn't sitting right with the torso on your quality control you couldn't tell that it's hanging geez so my right arm won't go into the body perfectly as there's this small thing that is preventing it and besides that if i don't put the foam on the base between his right arm and the base i am not sure though if this is a key part of its engineering and support i'm hoping that it's not and yes the shoulder pod does help in hiding the gap on the shoulder and seems to be quite stable uh, with my current setup even though it has the foam but even before that his torso just sits on the legs and you need to wiggle it a bit uh, for a perfect fit which will introduce a lot of cheap pains inside it's not visible though but who knows if something would break long term there are small pieces underneath that does make a sound when i wiggle them and might actually break i kid you not i saw a small resin piece falling off while i was 
assembling and wiggling the torso. The good thing is if I put Iron Man inside the Hulkbuster, everything seems to fit perfectly. Even his left foot, uh, which will rest on this thing, uh, sits perfectly. But if I didn't opt for that display option, uh, this chest plate right here with the portrait doesn't sit perfectly with the body. It doesn't fall but it's a bit scary to look at to be honest. And it gave the torso a lot of scratches just installing it. It's not even perfect and that's just the engineering problem. Going to the paint since I saw a recast of this, gotta say the glossy red on this Hulk Bustler is indeed remarkable. It's really an eye catcher for sure. The the battle damages definitely helps with a lot of the paint shift the statue has and will have. They are painted good in my opinion. Honestly, that's about it for the paint. All the gray parts of the statue is painted with one flat gray color and almost doesn't have any shading at all or maybe too subtle to even notice. It would have been better if the statue has some like oil finish on the metal parts making it look uh, more realistic. It's just too super clean in my opinion but looking at the overall statue i don't think you'd notice my complaints as this statue definitely commands a lot of presence the sculpt i would say is really good for hulkbuster definitely not the best iron man but hey this is an old statue it is what it is the statue doesn't have any textures i would say but it has a lot of details like a lot a lot so that definitely make up for the lack of textures oh there are some textures uh, at the base but not with hulkbuster and iron man the battle damage just sculpt is definitely a nice touch it made the statue looks realistic by exposing a lot of the mechanical details inside his armor the concept though is definitely remarkable on this hulkbuster uh, definitely worth being a grail can't imagine a hulkbuster pose that will be better than this the pose is just too dumb powerful with or without iron man it's just too bad it has a lot of engineering problems i can easily say that the queen studios hulkbuster finish or quality is a tier or two higher than this one it's just that i know a lot of you guys don't like the mcu and would prefer comic versions of everything that's why this one got the grail status but if you ask me queen studios has the higher quality but xm has the better red paint and of course the comic version of the armor i definitely uh, had a bit of a buyer's remorse after assembling this beast definitely quite disappointing as i consider this as a personal grail and of course it's quite expensive would love to hear your thoughts and experiences on this statue on the comments below i'm eager to know if i'm the only one with this kind of issue i'm honestly very disappointed with this statue it's not what i thought uh, it was it's all presence in my opinion but hey the demand on the statue is high hope this video helps in your decision making if it does you might want to subscribe to the channel for future statue unboxings if you haven't checked out my queen studios hulkbuster unboxing yet you can check the video right here that's it for this video this is carl and see you in the next one